Hello everybody and welcome back to this tutorial and right now let's take a look at a tool that we haven't used before which is called the hex editor. Now as I said in the previous video this tool allows us to change the actual bytes in the executable in order to make it a little bit different than before and in order to with that difference be able to bypass the antivirus. Let us open up our terminal as usual and the tool actually comes pre-installed in Kali Linux so we don't really have to bother installing it. But before we actually use the tool, let us see if we will be able to bypass some of the antiviruses after we actually finish with the hex editor. The first thing that we are going to do is we are going to test the regular MSF Venom payload without encoder, without hex editor, without anything on a site called VirusTotal. Now the VirusTotal is a site that allows us to upload our payloads there and therefore the VirusTotal will decide whether that payload is actual virus or not. It will basically put it through uh, 60 or 70 different antivirus scans and then each antivirus will have a decision whether it will put that actual program as an actual virus or not. Now keep in mind that everything that you upload to this site will be sent to the actual antivirus vendors so if you actually upload a payload or an executable that is not recognized as an virus right here, maybe in a few days it will be recognized as a virus because the payload has been sent to the actual antivirus vendors and they have added it to the to their database. But since we are actually using the MSF Venom and the regular Meterpeter shell, which has been uploaded to this website a number of times, therefore we don't really need to worry, it is already in most of these databases and therefore we can simply just use this site in order to scan it and not worry about it being sent to the antivirus vendors. But if you for example coded your own program and it will most likely be able to bypass most if not all of the antiviruses, you do not want to upload it right here because in just a few days or weeks it might be detectable after you upload it right here. First thing we want to do is we want to create a regular payload so we will go to the desktop and right here we are simply just going to run a simple MSF Venom command, so payload windows x64 meterpeter reverse tcp lhost equals 192.168.1.7 lport equals 4444 uh, file will be the exe type and the output will be regular virus.exe so we just have to differentiate this one from the next one that we're going to make and use the hex editor on. Now in the hex editor it is possibly going to be enough to change just a few bytes in order to actually make a difference to this scan. So we will see how many actual uh, vendors will be able to detect this as a virus. So right here we will go to the choose a file because we can see right here this has finished. Then we want to navigate to the directory where we saved this actual virus and we are simply just going to open it. It will ask us to confirm the upload. We want to click confirm upload. It will upload it to the actual website and right now it will perform the scans for this actual virus and it will give us the output how many antivirus vendors have detected it as a virus. We can see this antivirus has it undetected. 5 out of 10. 6 out of 11 for now on have detected it as a virus. You can see that most of the actual famous vendors in do indeed detect it as a virus because this is a regular payload. It has been uploaded here numerous number of times so we don't really have to expect it to be undetectable by these vendors. We can see right here 48 out of 70 engines detected this file as a virus. The ones that are actually read are the ones that are able to actually detect it as a virus and the ones that says undetected are the ones that do not detect it as a virus but these are the ones that are not even that famous or updated at all and most of the people don't even use these antiviruses so they don't really present us any type of success if we're actually able to bypass them we want to bypass some of these as well. So we will remember this number which is 48 out of 70 and now if we use hex editor we're going to see whether we can actually bypass at least one of them with the hex editor. What we want to do is we want to simply just use hex editor or not hex editor, we want to copy the regular virus.exe to the hex edited virus.exe and now we'll have two same files but now we're going to hex editor the hex edited virus.exe and we can see it will open the binary to that file and 
right here, here is the actual content of the file in bytes. And what we want to do, as I said previously, we want to change some strings that are not important to the actual program. So how can we know which strings are important and which strings are not? Well, first of all, all of these dots and these random characters that we can see is something that we do not want to change. So we are searching for something that makes sense, such as, for example, this is prog this program or this program cannot be run in DOS. So this is a string. It is possibly some kind of a comment or something like that, which we can actually change and not ruin the actual content of the program. So what we want to do, first of all, is we want to navigate to that row using our arrows so you cannot use your mouse. And right here, since we know that the last two letters belong to the string, which is T and H, that means that we can start changing from the last two bytes in that row. So 5, 4, 6, 8 is where we should start. And simply just navigate to the 5 and you can type any hex code you want. So you can simply just pen numbers 1 through 9 with letters A through F. So right here, 1, D, 1, 3, 4, A, D, A, D, B, C, F, D. Let me just go right here. E, 1. We can spam some numbers right here. You can change everything right here. It doesn't really matter what it writes because this will all belong to the actual comment or to the string. Therefore, we can type here anything we want. So you can see right here, these green characters are the actual bytes that we have changed. Now, make sure that you do not pass the last letter. So be careful at the end. And we are left one more byte. So let's simply just put it as 3-3. Okay. So this is one string that we have successfully changed. Now, will this actually present us a success in bypassing some of the antivirus that actually detected it as a virus previously? Well, you can simply just try to actually change something else as well. So for example, this text right here is something that we can also change. So let's navigate to that actual row because this is a string. We can go to the beginning. So to E, we can see in that row is a dot. So we don't really want to change that. We can start from 7-4. Now let's simply just add it as a 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and then 2, 2 for the last letter. So text had four letters and the uh, four letters are equivalent to four bytes. So you can simply just go and search for some other strings right here if you'd like. For example, this payload, dd, dd, and 4, 4, for example. Okay, so we have changed some of these strings right here. Right now, let us simply just save this file using Control o it will ask us for the file name. We want to press here enter and then control X to exit. And right now let us see whether we will get any different results in the actual virus total. Keep in mind that we might actually get different results, but we might actually get same or worse results. It all depends on how many people have tried this before us. I assure you that this is a method that actually allows you to bypass some of the antiviruses as we will see right here. We want to go to the main page, choose the file, and use the hex edited virus, confirm upload. And we know that the previous one had the actual result of 48 out of 70. And let's see whether this one will be able to bypass at least one, one antivirus out of those 48. It should finish in no time, but we already see that we got better results because the last actual scan was 48 out of 70. And this one is 39 out of 68. So we're good for about nine antiviruses that we were able to actually bypass using this method of hex editor. Now it only took us a few seconds to actually change a few bytes and we already managed to bypass eight or nine antivirus vendors depending on the actual final result of the scan because it is still scanning. We will see what are the final results. And we can see the final results are 40 out of 69. Okay, so we, were, we managed to actually bypass eight antiviruses which is still good using this method. So we proved that that method actually works, which is a good thing. Now, another thing you can try is mix the encoder, the iteration, the bad characters with the actual hex editor and possibly some new tool that performs some different type of actual antivirus bypassing, either by it changing its code or encoding it with a different encoder or anything like that. And then you can use that type of MSF payload 
in order to actually attack your target. We proved our point that the hex editor works and that will be basically about it for this bypassing of antivirus. What we're going to do in the next tutorial is we're going to check out some of the interpreter options that we can use after we exploit the target. So for now on we saw how we can actually attack the target, how we can get connection to the target, how we can bypass Windows Defender, bypass some of the antiviruses and right now we want to see what we can do after we finish all of that. We will see that in the next tutorial, hope you enjoyed this one and I hope I will see you in the next video. Bye!